Jets mm. in this one. I I'll be honest, like Mixor's obviously someone we're going to look at and uh, win the game. Go, James! Go! Take it away! <laughs> well, we're missing the start of the game, but it's already a kill in G2's favor, which isn't a good sign for if you're on the NIP side of things. But Hip's looking to deliver one of his own. He's actually going to take down Mixwell, who, well, Tom was looking to compare him. We might not have to compare him for too much longer because the game is starting. The kills are starting to come through. Piff getting aggressive. Two swift headshots already. He's not even backing away from that. The shock dot comes out towards him. He'll wait and fall back. They've got the advantage anyway. It's a 4v2 already here, Mitch. Uh, a couple of these players have been tickled over on G2, but it doesn't look like they're in all too much trouble. Remember, David P's got the heal. Now, not quite as powerful as it once was, but it's enough to bring over their uh, their omen to a pretty decent chunk of HP. Back up where he can fight with these pistols, at least. You know, for NIP, getting back into this one's going to be tough. They've got 15 seconds, but they are pushing towards the right site. It's only David P in the back that they've got to worry about. He's tucked away, waiting for an opportunity, but now he's been spotted to swing out. He spotted a player up above. Good kill, but that spike land is going to come through, and already, I guess that's the success in the 2v4 that NIP could have hoped for. It's, uh, overall, not the worst round in the world for G2, though, realistically. Very strong statement to start this against this G2 lineup. And as we said, that consistent aggression that they deploy, but intelligently, is what will often catch the likes of Looker off guard. If you're not hitting that first shot and not ready to be pushed at any possible moment, you're in trouble. But talking about being pushed, G2 are. They've already lost the opening duel. The classics coming through for NIP and landing the opening. That is huge. A great start for them in a round where G2 don't have the best of weapons. Remember, a lot of the time, you'll take the weaker weapons, the ghosts, and the SMGs to try and pull into the next one with a really strong buy, but at the moment they're being punished now down to a 4v3. And remember, David P has already been tagged up quite a bit. Artis is going to have to come up with something huge here. Might be able to find it. Tap it away. Oh, he whiffed so many shots. That's less than ideal. This is giving them such a great chance here for Nip. You were talking about it, Mitch, right? You don't see all the time the huge upgrades coming in. You see a few players left on go. Pip looking to do some serious damage. Headshots delivered, but he's only going to get two. Hips still pistol whipping his way through this. Two versus one now. Now, David P has been able to heal himself back up. He doesn't have the armor to play with. But Hip looking to use the turret to get him that extra information. With a Vandal in hand, though, David P looking to try and secure this and make sure the unthinkable doesn't happen. You wouldn't have expected it going through this. And he's being smart. He hears the drone. He's not going to be spotted out, but he doesn't want to give away his position. The question is, both players in the same spot. David P might actually be given a chance with it. Doesn't need to tap onto the bomb yet. Looking to check the location. Finds the first. Looking for the second as well. He's getting it done. David Peel, he's getting it all the way. Gets the defuse in. It's going to be ooh, very close. And he should just be able to have it. He starts to feel so comfortable and confident that they can get over aggressive, right? Try and take advantage of that like you had on the, the second round. Yep. But it, of course, the weaponry disadvantage that was. Oh, that's oh, an oh, interesting oh. teleport by three. Right up top. Usually you'd have a smoke in play to oh. do that. Obviously, you just wanted to open up some more angles because they had the pistols in play. That drone from Artis hasn't spotted the player up close, but they should know about that position due to the spams that were coming through a second ago on the Sheriff. Now, Underwood is compromised. They know that. They should be aware. Look, if they don't check it, they're in trouble. But you can see straight away the Odin is swinging, but Rhyme is the one that's actually catching the kill. He's causing a distraction as the rotate to B is underway. But now David P's cleaned him up, and they realize, well, he was underwood and no one else has come out. Something's going on here. And you can see NIP are going to run into the B site with two players waiting for them. Luck is so low as well, though. This is a problem. Both players have been tagged up quite heavily. Panic taking a great position to do some damage. Easy first kill found. The revive is going to come into Mixwell as well. And despite the Sage being nerfed, right, that revive is such a key factor. You get a player that win rate, albeit Banks, their lowest win rate on a map is 81%. So, it, you know, 90% <laughs> yes. percent. They're all pretty oh, good. Oh, no, now. Kree again. He gets caught on the teleport. Twice. Now, look, you don't expect Artis to be where he is. In fact, even after the kill, they don't expect him to be where he yeah. is. But still, to just go out in the open like this after they've smoked off mid, Kree is playing a very risky game. And this is G2 where they have so scary, Mitch. This is where you start to doubt yourself. You're before you can even get going, before you can execute, they start to push on to you. Ryan's looking to hold on as much as possible. This is a man that's coming in on an agent that has just been so heavily nerfed that most teams aren't even going to pick the Sage coming into this tournament. That swing, oh. oh, that's very dangerous. With the smoke that was down, though, the paranoia didn't matter a whole lot. Pip is able to just back off. 
And for G2, yeah, five to zero is a hell of a scoreline. It's a great start for them considering how shaky round two was. But it's not time to let off the gas pedal just yet. MIP can get right back into this game. They can find themselves in a good uh, state. We've seen the attacking side go uh, pretty much in favor. Sorry, we've seen the Senko in, in favor of the attacking side a number of times. And so you need to make sure that you just consistently shut them down. And that's a good way to continue it by taking down Looker in mid. And Looker was already so low from that early engagement towards A as well. Spam came through from Piff. David PNR is continuing to push forward. Relentless aggression once again from G2. They do it so well. It's completely timed together. It's a team push coming out, and now we're in a 4v2. Rhyme's looking to try and poke into A, but he has to be able to deliver this kill right on the side. Piff is there, ready to spray him down. It's no problem at all. And hit, but well, he may have found himself towards the back lines here, but can he get any sneak attacks on go? Doesn't spot any players out, but didn't push far enough forward to see anyone just yet. Oh, it's going to come down to this time, and it could be horrible timing as well for a long time. A lot of teams don't actually have coaches, but a few of them that do can massively benefit from this. Yes, absolutely. Even without coaches, just the ability to sit back and take a breather, I think that's what oh, yeah. NIP will probably need more than anything. Uh, because at the moment, I think their strat book is, will still have some pages left unturned. But it's all about mentality, and that's not helping. Oh, Their brains no. are being spilled. Panatech still going as well. He's looking for more victims. Looker's being oh. spotted. Panatech could be on for the ace, but Artis cleans it up. 8-0. Top mid or bottom mid will start to get that aggression in. Oh, we beat four man spray down. Okay, cool. Oh! How did he get away with that, though? David P, nicely done. Artis looking to try his ult as well, but Fearoff pops his just before. He's going to walk away with the kill, and this is the best chance that Nip have had in a long time here. Coming back to that second round when they were trying to do the pistol whip him. Hip looking to make sure he can hold on to this any way he can. G2 getting ready for the push on forward. It's all going to come down to the timing. The ult spin pops. Mixwell believes he can get it done. He's coming out with the knives. He starts off strong. He's on the hunt for more. Oh, no. Oh, no. He misses it, but he still delivers the headshot. Fearoff gets pistol whipped after that. Now it's a 2v2. No way. This should have been Nip's round. They still now need to hold on to it. But how are they going to play it from here? Piff right on the edge. Looking to make it work. Nicely done. Oh, my God. Piff. He was ready for it. He was waiting for it. The defuse is coming to come in. There's plenty of time still. And that's going to be a ninth round for G2. And another chance. It was NIP into submission. And you got to remember, this was the map pick of Nip. Remember, we know how good G2 are on all maps. They were the kings of Ascent forever and ever and ever. They loved it when teams didn't even want to play it. But right now, right here, what we're seeing is a Nip that thought they could challenge him. And well, Lucker for now, he will challenge Palatech at least. He's got that first pick. But Mixwell, he's right on the edge. He's looking for more. But this is great from Nip. This is their chance once again. They've got the two openers. But how much more can they get done? They've still got plenty of G2 players to deal with. And to be fair, G2 don't care if the numbers are stacked against them. Yeah, that's the thing. We've seen it in just the previous round. There's the David. He's opening kill. He ducks oh, away no. and even gets the wall bang. What is going on? NIP are asking that question right now. The wall up and Firoth is trapped underneath. Oh, no. He's going to be spotted. He has to tuck away in the corner, but that puts him behind the smoke. They're ready to deal with him now after the res onto Pith, and he's in a 2v3. Firoth going to give his position away. The shot by Looker eliminates Pith, though. Gives them a chance. Looker has to break this wall, though, before his team... Enough, though. It's not going to stop off for now it's all a bit on the waiting game so really intelligent use there really they're, they're going to try to clear out that corner as they push forward limit the angles that they have to deal with on the retake sort of accepting the fact that there was no way they could stop this but the same utility is now being thrown through by yeah. him so he's got that on lockdown they, it limits the time that they've got to play with so much more they need to find kills quickly and oh. i think already nip have done enough Lock what up. is happening what three kills on? in an instant you blink and you miss it i know it's all down to killjoy to try and win this round the nano swarm it doesn't look like it's deep enough i think no, he's still defusing not. that he's on it he oh, stay. He oh he could. Is it going to be enough time? I'm giving them one kill. But I, I agree yeah. completely. Looker pushing through the smoke. The player Underwood as well. That was reckless. And they've just thrown away what was looking to be like a guaranteed round at that point. They didn't see Pip sneak into this corner either. The drone goes through and that's a free oh! kill. I saw we didn't get the second. Pip's being robbed in that instance. But yeah. Mixwell luckily returns another. Enough damage done though. Mixwell's going to get spammed up after that. Fear off. 
That's the way you want to see it go down. This is much better from oh Nip, but it's a little bit too late. Hip just jump, dances his way into David P's hands. And David P doesn't actually have to push on this. He's now got the spike as well. This is beautiful for him, but it is still a two versus two. And there's two ults up for the NIP players who are remaining. Ooh. Yeah, Artis not checking his corner. Easy one for Ryan to find. David P in clutch mode once again. Oh, that's the, that's not fun. David P didn't expect that. He's trying to go around the side. Now they're able to grab it. They're able to run all the way around. But will they expect David P's new position? It, there's my problem with the turret. You know, it's it's an always active cam. Yeah. It, Killjoy is dead, and they've still got the info on where that player is in the one v two. That shouldn't be a thing, to be honest, but we'll see if that gets removed in rounds. But really, it just looks like G2 can't lose even the rounds they look like they should lose. Yeah, uh, look, 10 to 2. <clears throat> it's one hell of a scoreline for G2. It's about the, about the best that a defending side can get. And when I look down towards G2 and the position they're in, I don't see them losing this map. This is They have a 90% win rate on this map versus the best teams. And NIP, they've not come in looking fresh and new. Not to the extent we needed to see from them. Fearoth has just swung into three, giving back the man advantage for a second. But G2 still behind by one. It's a three versus four as they push on into this B Ooh. site. And they're overwhelmed up close by him, oh. who's able to get a nice little double. Oh, oh he's finished it. <laughs> <laughs> Mix, I was like, yeah, okay, that, that's allowed to happen, you know, we're far enough ahead, it's, it's not a problem. Very, very nice round though there from NIP, like getting aggressive on the pistol towards A to start off with, getting that opening kill, continuing to apply the pressure to G2, making sure they stayed behind no matter where they were going. Hip sits so close to his monitor, it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he is in the game, literally. But uh, yeah, that was that was pretty, uh, pretty nice, little 3K, get the turret to assist you in the end. Obviously, you know, you don't really get kills with turrets. It has to do, you have to do a lot of damage to those players beforehand. And they don't have armor, I guess it's a little bit easier. Oh, yeah, right, okay. straight away. But look who's managed to sneak in. You would think, had a tech though, cut off by hip. And with this, Garan's already gone, pretty much. Tapping away, not much luck in it at all. Only one player left to find this artist, and he wants someone to push him as he's got the shorty in his hands. He's just looking for a, a kill. At an alt point at best. But realistically. Taking on all these players. It, it takes some incredible. Back in play, Banks. Because last time oh, we were yes. commentating over in the level uh, ignition event, we saw teams obviously preferencing the Phantom quite a bit. And we've seen that for a while now. But with the recent changes, they're loving this Phantom. Oh, yeah. Vandal back in play. Is it going to be enough for G2? It starts off exactly as they want it to. They've got the site under control. More headshots being delivered as well. Hip's just going to have to fall back and wait for his teammates to come into play as G2's dominant push onto the B site has forced them all away. Lucker trying to tap them up, but it's not an operator. It's not a one-shot, one kill. It's not going to work with the marshal in the same way. And he certainly needs someone there to be backing him up with a rifle. But look at G2 already. Looking to get aggressive and take any of these weapons away. They don't even want to allow Nip to have an opportunity to save David P in such a huge position. This could be a swift two kills. And that's exactly what it is. Headshot delivered. Domination as well. But Ryan, ooh, with the Spectre. Looking to do some serious damage. Throwing out all the utility with it as well. The nades are coming out. He's been tagged down, but he's just fragging up. Are they going to continue to give him bodies? Here we go. It's going to be a fast swing. But oh. Lucker smartly getting that door placed down. Doesn't want to get sideswiped at all. And for Nip, it's all about how you hold on to the advantage. Do you try and stick up with a buddy system? As Padatek, he tried to play it sneaky, but Rhyme ready and waiting. No real problem at all for him. As G2 look to get onto the A site. They don't have the numbers in this at all now. He tries to fake it out with the spike plant. Nicely done by Ardis and Piff. Comes in with two headshots. Wow. Turning it around once again. And that's exactly what G2 needed. He's playing off the great angle there. On the entrance to A. And he's ready and waiting for it to come through. Able to defend his teammates. And that Killjoy ult going up. How long is going to be able to defend him for? No one's ready to push on it just yet. Oh, he has to take the fight. Oh, He's going to be detained. It's too late. No. He had to make that play because he was going to be detained. Now they're just able to go down and take him out for the flank by David P. That opens up the opportunities. Pith keeps on delivering. Goes oh. through for his own ult, but the stick by Looker. He gets the round under his belt. A brave play and one that... It has yeah. been Cree that we've looked to. He's got one kill right now. 
This has not been a good game. Not a good opening map, and that is very scary. Oh, it really is, right? Oh, no. Bad attack. Tries to hold on. Oh, oh, he's running out of bullets. Still somehow stays alive. He's looking to do as much damage as possible with the shorty. Nipper all over the place right now. They've got to be very careful here. Mixwell's popped the ult as well. They're dancing around each other. He misses the right click. Hit was there ready and waiting. That's all he needed to hear. The miss goes through. Nice tap away there. Piff's been putting in work with this Vandal. Yeah, he is loving the update. In comes Kree, though, and he's good to find it. Shutting down Pith and really making this retake a lot more. Do David? All right, he takes his rifle out just in time to catch one. But it was the low HP player that went in first, meaning the spray transfer wasn't exactly easy to get onto fear of. I think that's something that's more important in this game, Banks, than what we're used to in Counter-Strike. Having yeah. the low HP guy go in first is actually huge because these weapons are very difficult to control the spray of. Once you go up the B site, the ult oh, teleport to the back of the site and they have no idea. Hip's just been shut down and that's a free spike plant. Beautiful Omen ult there. They did not expect it. The timing came out perfectly. He's even getting the spike down. He's avoiding Firoth's ult as well. The Hunter Fury's not going to be able to connect. They're dodging it nicely. And now Artist is like, okay, I'll have a go myself then. Try and dodge this, guys. And ooh, it gets, he hits it as well. Some nice damage done. And Panatech's going to continue to spray on through. Kree. You said he started to look better. That's certainly coming to play. But is it even going to be enough here? Because G2 even dropping the revive. They've got five alive. And there's only one more player to find. It's Lucker on five health. And he is going to get his skates on and get the hell out of here. Throws down the smoke. Wants to ensure he's got the cover. But the shots are coming through. Oh, it's close. He's slowly backing away. He doesn't want to make noise now. He should be able to hold right now if G2 want to hit it. You want to make a exactly move? what they are going to try to do. Yep. Right in they go. It's completely open for the taking. And now Spidey senses start to tingle, right? You know those players coming behind could be in play. And they're swinging on through right into some waiting opponents. Oh, oh my, David P. That was damn close. He's lucky to get away with a kill just there. The ult's come up from Lucker. He's going to try an updraft, I believe, and see what information he might be able to see. But Artis is putting in work either way. Firoff looking to get the extra information in as well. He's got his Odin in hand, but it's not going to be enough. It's a 1v3. And this will be an easy round for G2 to pick up. Firoff, he's hoping someone's going to poke out to him, but those mistakes are not going to be made. Paratech.